Okay, my dudes, oh, what is up? We are back here once again with the new Beyblade, the last Beyblade release, Barricade Lucifer. Now, guys, check this out. If you saw yesterday's video, we actually awakened Barricade Lucifer by taking off the rubber parts here. Now, I was going to cut them off, but we ended up just twisting them off. But what I did see is a ton of people in the comments saying you don't actually need to take off the rubber parts. What you should do is actually just super glue the rubber parts to here. That way you still have rubber contacts on here. So what we done with our spare one, as you guys can see, we actually super glued it together. We had to let it dry. So I couldn't do it right here right now because we had to let it dry. But what we done is we actually super glued all the inside, closed it, left it. Now it is all super glued in here and hopefully fingers crossed it still should perform good so basically we're gonna have both bay blades tested out if you guys did miss this one definitely go check that out because it's awesome but we're gonna do both testing here again and hopefully fingers crossed this is good because it is kind of true it is better to have more around the bay blade with some rubber parts on there and the only reason why these are bad in the normal stock combo is they come out and that's what really messes it up so we're gonna get the stadium out once again straight into the testing on this i'm really curious man i do want to say a big thank you to everyone in the comments below for actually uh letting us know that a, a super gluing thing was actually a good idea so uh gonna check this out now so this is the one we done yesterday not gonna do that first we're gonna do this one first so the first thing i'm gonna do is just launch it so we can actually see and there you go. You can see now that the barricade gimmick is stuck in. And like I said, all you had to do was super glue them to the layer or the blade. And uh, this is what you should get. Now, does it perform better than this? We're about to find out. In the comments below, before we do that, let us know what would you do if this was your Beyblade? Because I'm telling you right now, you don't want these coming out. It made it bad. Like, it, it really wasn't good. So one or two things to make this Beyblade good is either going to be taking them off or super gluing them together like that. How will they last? I don't know. Will the Beyblades that battle against this reopen it back up? Hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't. But uh, let's find out. So you guys know v Valkyrie. It has to be Valkyrie, right? Valkyrie is always my first Beyblade to test out against any Bey. So uh, that's like, that's like just, that's religion. We have to just do that. Like, all right, there you go. There is the awesome Lucifer. And as you guys can see, we are battling with Ultimate Valkyrie. Now I'm hoping we do get to see it still performing pretty good. Um, do you know what, guys? I'm liking it so far. And oh my dudes, there you go. So what I will do is I'll battle this one now without the rubber and we can see the performance of both bays in the stadium against the same Beyblade of Valkyrie. Here we go. Let's see now how this one performs. I feel like the reason why this might actually be better, where it's rubber, it's going to absorb some attacks as well, which is a good thing. But here we go, nice big smash attacks right there by Valkyrie, really testing it out. Again, it does defeat it, man. Um, so you guys can see anything is better than them coming out. But so far, so good with that. Not coming apart. Do you know what? I got to test it against this. Yesterday, this one, I'm very curious to now see if the rubber glued on will still be able to beat it. So there you go. Now we'll get the Hello Kitty blade. Beyblade in there and we will see if the one with the rubber is able to defeat it. I feel like there's more maybe I was gonna say stability as soon as that happened but definitely no more stability on there but as you guys can see the driver height makes the Beyblade so much more taller but it still has a whole bunch of balance which is good so this is definitely taller than normal drivers we already know that like we already know that so you can see it when it's going side to side when it's battling now this is, uh, we're not going to do, I'm not going to battle this one against Hello Kitty because we already saw that. But I am going to battle it against Fafnir. Now, this is the question that I've got. Is it going to be able to beat Fafnir? Yesterday, it was a draw. But now both of them will actually have rubber on. Let me, oh, actually, 
Let me actually just get Fafnir lock loaded and ready on in here. Bro. Even though we can spin still, we don't even need to launch it hard or fast, to be honest with you. But there you go. So, let's do this. Got that in there. We're going to get Fafnir up in here now. And now this is where we're going to see we have rubber on Lucifer. Obviously, Fafnir is known to be like the rubber Beyblade king of them all. And you can hear straight away the Beyblade. It's, it's attacking underneath, man. Holy moly. So it was a draw yesterday with the other one. And it's spin stealing the rubber. It's a draw again. It, it's a draw again, man. These two are like the ultimate spin stealing masters. Do you know what, guys? I have a feeling that if you was to put this driver on Fafnir, it would be like the best Beyblade ever. Possibly. This driver is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Do you know what I am going to do? Let's do a rematch. Do one with no rubber on there. I get a Fafnir. Do you know what? It doesn't even matter if I launch it in too late or early. Because like I said, you could just oh, you could just launch it in there whenever you want. And it would still battle on because... Hey, it's Fafnir. You just need them to make contact and they start spin stealing. You guys know how Fafnir is. You don't need a super spinning Beyblade to... There you go. Look at that. They're just feeding off each other. That's all they do right there. The spin stealing Beyblades will survive. This is what I want to see. Will the rubber make any difference? I don't even know. You guys can call that one, man. But this is de definitely a good option. I'm liking this. This super glue option is very good. I'm like it. Someone also said as well, if you really wanted to, you can actually unscrew the blade, take it apart and take all of the rubber out. I think if you was to do that though, it would take off a good amount of weight because the rubber actually goes all the way through. So I wouldn't say do that because I feel like you would take off too much rubber and then too much weight would get off Lucifer and you need that weight. The weight definitely helps. All right, so I'm going to do one more test, one more battle, and it's going to have to be against a less spinning attacking Beyblade, which obviously, which Beyblade are we going to get? There's no other one other than Longinus. That's the that's the ultimate less spinning attacking Beyblade that we need to test it out against. And uh, we're going to go this one first. And this is, I really want to see this, man. All right, here we go. So this is it. Nice launch there. We're going to get, that was a nice big hit right there as well. All right, this is it. Is it going to stand up? So far, the super glue has actually stayed on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my dudes, I'm liking that. I am loving this. The super glue, the super glue, sorry, on loose. Oh, it actually won. I don't know if that was because it was all over the place, but what I am going to do is I'm going to do the same battle now without the rubber. Let's see what happens with that. Dude, that was actually surprising to see Longinus win that. Now, it could have been because it was just off balance, and that's got to do with the height of the driver. That's probably not nothing to do with the rubber on it. But, uh, all right, here we go. So, now we have this one in here. Then we go and put that Longinus in there now. Nice big attack there. And, uh, guys, whoa, whoa. I'm definitely liking both of these Beyblades now, man. Like, I was actually really worried with Lucifer when we first tested it out with the rubber coming out because it actually performed real bad to be honest with you but now I'm actually oh that that was so close do you know what I, I said only one battle let me let me just let me let's just do this one last time one last time just to see if it was luck or anything like that if Longinus won it I got it just one last time before we end it but the super glue uh, mod it actually works I'm digging that here we go there it is. Okay, I'm liking this. Now we're going to see that again. This is the chance because this one, it was very close. Last round, longest one when it had this version on there. But uh, as you guys can see, you can definitely hear when it's making contact, you can definitely hear the rubber actually absorbing the attacks as well. And obviously it's going to help it spin steel as well with the rubber. We all know how good Fafnir is with that rubber as well. And... Again, guys, there it is. Oh, I'm liking it. All right, guys, this is the situation. Both Beyblades actually perform really, really good. So this, obviously, once you take the uh, rubber off, it's nowhere near as rounded now. It's got some contact points right here. It's got it everywhere around the whole Beyblades. It's like, it's, it's got a crazy shape to it. Just look at that. Look at all these contact parts. That's, that's, that's crazy. Like, that's, that's going to make some big hits, man. Now, when you leave the rubber on there, it's more rounded. 
So it has some rubber to do some shenanigans, man. We got some absorbing attacks. We've got easier spin stealing. We have uh, rubber that makes it look awesome. Uh, but yeah, definitely in the comments below, which mode do you like better? Would you, if it was your baby, would you just rip it off and leave it like this? Or would you just super glue these on? That way you still have the rubber on there and it can absorb some attacks. By doing testing with, with one player mode, it was kind of like the same, to be honest with you. So we'll have to wait till we actually get into some battles, two player mode, to actually see which one is really better. But uh, in our testing right here, this is definitely a good option, 100%. If I knew this one first, I might have done this one first. But at the same time, I got two to do things like this anyway, and I like both of them. They're actually both awesome. Uh, but all right, guys, uh, let me know which one you prefer and which one you would do. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, my dudes.